In this session, we are going to set up a search on your online store, which means people will be able to search for product and then they will find what you have to offer. This is a great feature and this is something that most of the online store do. So this is something that you probably want to do as well. And let me show you how to do that. Here we are on my store. First, let's see what we have by default. Previously, when we created the header of the store, we had it the search bar here in the menu. So let's see what we have when we search for something. For example, watch. By default, this is the search result page, and we see that we have different type of results that we absolutely don't want. For example, this one is a blog article. This is another blog article. Then we have one product. That's good. Then we have other products. We would like to have only product here because that's an e-commerce store. So there is two things that we need to do. First of all, change the design of this page to make it way nicer. And then second, make sure that we have only product here in the search result. So let's do that. And just before we start, let me show you how to add this little search bar on your store. The most common search bar location are here into the menu and on your category pages like here, for example, on the left. The first search bar here in the menu, you can add it by going to your theme builder. So you go to my store, pages, and then at the bottom, you have the theme builder. And then you go to your global header. So this is something that we have done earlier in this course. So if you jump directly to this section, if you want to have all the explanation on how we built this header here on the store, you can go back to the preview section on the header. So to enable the little search, you go to your global header, and you must have a menu module to display your menu. And into the settings of this menu module, you just go to elements and here you can show search icon. Okay, so just make sure that this settings is enabled and then you will have the search like this in your menu. So that's for the one in the menu. Then for the one here in the category page like this, again, you can go back in this course and watch again the section that shows you how we have built this product category page. To add the search here on the left, we actually use the widgets for doing that. So just close this. And to access the widgets, you go to My Store and Widgets here. And then in the widgets, the one that we use to do product search like this is this product search widget here. So you just take it, drag and drop to your sidebar. Then just make sure to add this sidebar to your page. Let me show you how to do that quickly. Just before I will delete this module, Okay, then go back to your theme builder, then go to your template about the product category page and edit the custom body. Then on your page, you want to add the sidebar module and in the content, you choose your sidebar. Okay, I'm going a little bit fast here. It's because we covered all of that when we designed this product page. So if you need a little bit more information, just go back to this section earlier in this course and you will get all the details on how we built this page. And lastly, there is actually a third way to add a search bar on your store because there is directly a search module that you can add. So you can add this module anywhere on your store, on any page, and it will just add a search bar. So you can do it wherever you want on any pages. For me, I will not use this module. I will just keep the sidebar and the search, and I will just go out of here and not save. Okay, great. So now that you know how to add this little search bar on your store, then we can start to configure it. So the first thing I will do as we are into the theme builder is do the design of the page. So for doing that, as you want your pages to be consistent, the easiest way to do that is just to duplicate your templates about the product category page. And then you assign this new template all at the bottom to search results. And then you save. You can also create a new template if you want and do a fully custom page. It's really up to you. But here I will just take an easy solution and I will do a page that is almost like my product category page. So when we have our new template, we save. Okay, and then we go change a few things in the custom body. This modification will be different on your page because you probably did not build the exact same as me. But I will explain to you everything that I do and you can apply to your specific case. So first of all, here we have a description of a category. This page is the search page, so there is no description. So I will just delete this row here. Then when we created this page in the background of the section here at the top, we put the image from the category, the featured image of the category. Again, it's not a category, so I will just change it and put an image here. I will use this one, for example. And then anywhere on your page, you absolutely need this module, Woo Product. Okay, this module is Woo Product. So if you don't have it already, make sure that you add this product on your page. And in the content, select Default 
and then use current page. So this way it will display product as a result on the search result page. Make sure that you have this module, root product, then we do it. You can just save. Okay, great. So now we can go back to our store and then do a new search. Let's look for watch again. And, and here we go. Now our page is using our design and then we see only product as a result of our search page. So this is perfect. Little tip, here we can see result from watch. It's because I am using this module here, which is the text module. And into the settings in text, I chose the post archive title in the dynamic content. So for doing that, you just add your text module and then here into the body, you choose the dynamic content and then post archive title. Okay. And then you just save and you will have the same thing that says result for what the person have looked for. So now we have our search page and then I will just show you one last thing. If you use the widget here that we added into the sidebar earlier, the search for product widgets, then when you search here, you will see that you have a slightly different design that is not exactly your search page. This is because this widget here behave a little bit differently. So the best thing to do here would be to actually not use this one. I wanted to show you this widget because maybe you found it by yourself and then you will end up here and you don't know what to do. So that's why I've added it here, but it would be better that actually you don't use the widget and instead use the search module. So then it will always use the same design for the search page. Okay. So I will actually do that. I will go back to my theme builder. I will just add the search module on top of my sidebar module. Okay. This is the sidebar module and I will just add the search on top and I will remove the search from the sidebar. Okay. So search. Search. Okay. I take this one on top and I save. Okay, great. Then I want to do the same thing in the product category page. I will add the search module. Again, this is the sidebar module. I will just add the search below that. And I will just take my module above my sidebar. Okay, great. I save. Okay, perfect. And last thing to do is to actually remove the search widgets. So I will go back to the widgets and I will remove the widget. Okay, and update. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to our store and let's go to our category page. For example, watch is for women. Here I will make a new search. So for example, watch again. And here we don't have anything because there's one last step that we need to do to make this module work. For doing that, we need to add an application. So let's go back to the dashboard and then applications and all applications. And here look for search. And activate this application, WP Extended Search. Then just access the app. Then here into the app, we don't want to change much. We just want to remove post and pages and we want to select product. That's the only modification that we want to do. Very important, do not enable these settings here, optimize for product search. Otherwise it will do the exact same thing as the search widget. So don't do it. And then you have additional settings. If you want to enable them and change how the search will behave on your store, then you can. But otherwise you can just leave it by default like this and it's great. And then just save this page. Perfect. Then we can go back to our store and let's go to our category page. Let's do a new search. And here we go. Now we have the proper search result and the proper page as well. That's it for this session on how to set up search on your online store. This is a very cool feature and now your visitor will be able to find your product very easily. So let's keep going and I will see you in the next session.